People love to make fun of Marylanders because of our love of Old Bay and our obsession of wearing the state flag on everything. It is one of the most distinctive flags in the nation. It's the only one based on English heraldry. Maryland's state flag contains the crest of two families, the Calverts and the Crosslands. I guess we'll call that fact number one. My name is Kelly Wise. I am a licensed real estate agent with Coldwell Banker out of their Gambrels, Maryland office. Since I was born and raised in Maryland, I'm very excited about today's video because we're gonna talk about 10 interesting facts about Maryland. Here's a question that many people ask. Why do Marylanders hate the Indianapolis Colts? Well, we've got a good reason for it. They were our home team and then abruptly left in March of 84 and secretly moved to Indianapolis. That ticked off a lot of fans. It wasn't until 1996 when we received league approval for our new team, the Baltimore Ravens. The name was inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven. Chosen in a fan contest that drew in over 33,000 votes. The early part of Poe's career was spent in Baltimore and that's where he's currently buried. That's fact number two. And while we're discussing sports, let's move on to fact number three. You'll often see the hashtag I back the birds or hashtag birdland. And that's because not only do we have the Ravens as our football team, but our baseball team is named after a bird too, the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Oriole is also our state bird. Continuing on the sports theme, can you guess what our state sport is? Out of all the choices, it's this one. That's right, our state sport is jousting. If you wanna learn more about jousting, I've placed a link in the description box below for the History Channel's video all about jousting. Now, our team sport is lacrosse. But enough about sports, let's move on to food. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Also click on the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos each weekend. Fact number five, we have what I consider the best state dessert. It's Smith Island cake, which is nine really thin layers of yellow cake with chocolate fudge instead of buttercream. The cake was sent off with watermen when they went out to harvest oysters. The reason that fudge was used instead of buttercream is simply because it lasted longer. Fact number six, we've got wild ponies. Assateague Island is 37 miles long and it's got a ton of unspoiled beaches and of course the feral ponies. It's a great place to go for a day of outdoorsy activities or even for a weekend of camping. If you're wondering how did an island get a bunch of wild ponies? Well, it's rumored that they escaped from a Spaniard ship on its way to Peru. However, the more plausible explanation is that mainland owners put the ponies on the island to avoid livestock taxation and fencing laws. Let me know in the comments down below if you already knew some of these Maryland facts or if they were brand new to you. Maryland has a few nicknames out there. One of them is Little America, probably because the song America the Beautiful is basically describing Maryland. I mean, sea to si shining sea, check, although ours are bays and oceans. Purple Mountain's Majesty, check. Amber Waves of Green, check. Maryland's got it all. We've got mountains, beaches, marshland, farmland, four seasons. But that's not our real nickname. In fact, number seven, our real nickname is the Old Line State. When I was a kid, I thought we were the Old Line State because we bordered right on the Mason-Dixon line. But that, it turns out, is not the reason why. Legend has it that 400 Maryland soldiers called the Maryland Line faced off against 10,000 British soldiers in a battle in 1776. 
They held off the British soldiers just long enough for the rest of the American army led by George Washington to escape. Fact number eight, our capital Annapolis, also known as the sailing capital of the world, was once the capital of the entire country, but only for one year. Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia all took portions of their land and donated it to become what's now Washington, D.C. and the capital of the United States. And then for some reason, Virginia took their portion back. So much was happening in Annapolis during the creation of our nation, including the first school in our nation, King William's School. Today, it's a private liberal arts school known as St. John's College. It still has campuses in Annapolis, as well as one in Santa Fe, New Mexico. There are so many interesting facts about Maryland that I want to share more with you if you guys are interested. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see another video on other facts about Maryland. I would put them all jammed into this video, but then the video would be an hour long and no one would watch it. Maryland is filled with so many historical facts. So at number 10 is Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner at the Baltimore Harbor while watching Fort McHenry be bombarded in the War of 1812. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna see more, check out this video. See you guys next weekend, bye.